Donald Trump is the first president in 168 years not to have... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, anyone. Not to have what? A trace of common decency. <laughs> Empathy. Empathy. <laughs> Charm. Charm. Anybody think These are all too obvious. I'm yeah. going to go with um, not to have the ability to pee standing up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, since Washington? 1850. Washington? Since 1850. What happened right. in 1850? Uh, Coronation Street started. It's all the whole show is about. <laughs> oh, pet animals. Pet. 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 Pets. Pet? He's the oh. first president not to have a pet in the White House. He's got uh, Melania. Uh, they all had pets. Thomas Jefferson had two bear cubs. Uh, Benjamin Harrison had two opossums called Mr. Reciprocity <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> Protection. What? Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt had a great day, rather confusingly called President. <laughs> Hoover's son, Alan, had a pair of uh, alligators. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt, I think, gets the prize for best presidential pet owner. Uh, nine dogs, two ponies, two cats, a hen, a lizard, a blue macaw, a garter snake named Emily Spinach. Uh, <laughs> named by his daughter, Alice, because it's as green as spinach and as thin as my Aunt Emily. <laughs> a small bear, a piebald rat, a pig, a rabbit, a laughing hyena, a barn owl, a one-legged rooster and five guinea pigs. Uh, he also had six children, which <laughs> uh, seems a lot, and a badger called Josiah. He also had the pony called Algonquin, uh, who was so beloved by the president's son, Archie, that when he was sick in bed, his brothers, Kermit... Uh, Kermit and Quentin brought the pony up in the lift. <laughs> Who'll bring the pony up to the room now? Who can make you a pony? <laughs> I don't think Mother would allow <laughs> In 1940, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt was given a Scottish terrier puppy uh, that he named Murray the Outlaw of Fowler Hill <laughs> uh, after one of his Scottish ancestors, and it was known as Fowler, and it travelled everywhere with the president. He became a celebrity in his own right. He had a, his own secretary to answer fan mail. That's him there with the genius Eleanor Roosevelt, who really was the power yeah. behind the throne uh, in that particular presidency. During the Battle of the Bulge, that's the last sort of big German offensive in the Second World War, the American soldiers used to ask each other uh, the name of the president's dog, and if you got the answer Faller, then you knew it probably wasn't a German who was oh. masquerading as an American. Ah. Uh, Donald Trump is the first president of the United States to steer clear of any petting in the White House. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm just going to let that live in the air for a <laughs>